Howdy folks, Greyhawk 4x4 coming at you again, your resident vintage gamer, and it is Beer 30. Today's selection, Samuel Smith, Samuel Smith's Nut Brown Ale, out of jolly old England. Um, excellent beer, um, cheers. I had already been sampling that a little bit. Because I am doing a beer of the day type of a thing on uh, both TikTok and Clapper, both. So if you guys want to follow me there, Greyhawk 4x4, obviously, on both those platforms. And I just do quick beers of the day thing there. So anyway, um, today's topic. I have been holding off on delving into this particular story because I wanted to gather a lot of information. I wanted to wait till some things just things settled and see how things, you know, landed. Um, and we're going to talk about the, the Activision Blizzard complete implosion deplorable uh, bullshit that, that they do, you know, or they have done and are continuing to do uh, apparently with just some of the responses and stuff that they've been putting out and all that. So, um, t just to get it out of the way, obviously, all the shit that has come out, if, if even a little tiny bit of it is true, it is, it is beyond reprehensible. More than likely, there's probably quite a bit of it that's true, maybe not all of it, who knows, you know, um, somewhere in the middle, there's, you know, um, there is always the truth, but I tend to say, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's a lot of smoke with this son bitch right here. So, um, having said that, I want to get that established. Um, I have, like I said, I've been following stuff, reading a lot of articles about it, so forth and so on. There is a particular YouTuber, um, everybody just, her name is Hazel, um, and her page is Hazel Nutty Games, and she is a WoW streamer slash YouTuber, and she is very good at what she does. Um, she is a very level-headed, balanced, reasonable person, it seems like, and she generally doesn't try to get into all this, kind of the politics and, and all that kind of stuff. She generally just wants to um, concentrate on the gameplay and all that, and the features and, and you know, expansions and beta testing, and all those types of things. But she did weigh in on this, of course, as everybody has. Um, and I think out of everything I've seen, I believe that she has the best take that I have seen on the whole thing. Um, she believes that, as a lot of us do, that this is a symptom of a bigger problem within the video game industry. And let's not just limit it to video games, but entertainment, you know, whatever social media, the whole sh shooting match, right? Um, and her take was that she's hoping, she's she's wanting to look at it from a positive viewpoint in that perhaps that this is so bad that it's going to have a ripple effect and it's going to change the entire video game industry, the development, you know, video game development, you know, corporate mindset and approach and they're, they're, they're going to have to tear shit down and start from scratch again on how they do things and what their business practices are and making sure that their 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 employees and their management and everybody else are doing things the right way doing things ethical and moral and the whole you know and professional and, and all all those things um, and I think she's probably right um, we have been, we as consumers have been uh, complaining for a long time about just how fucked up the the corporate video game development machine has been in a lot of different, not, not talking about, you know, getting into the sexual harassment stuff that has come out about Blizzard, Activision Blizzard and all that stuff, 
that's a that is abhorrent in its stand alone by itself. But a, a, aside from that, all just the fact that they have done bait and switch techniques, and they have done. Um, uh, they they went into you know doing pre-orders where games weren't finished and 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 day one patches and and just just not doing things the right way not doing things the ethical moral professional way and what we're seeing now is that with this latest Activision Blizzard situation is that the employees have it's with their walkout and everything else. You know, they're they're starting, and a lot of indus- other industries are seeing similar things. Not because of what happened there, but just in general about better working conditions, um, employee rights, excuse me, as a whole. Um, and we're seeing, I think, COVID kind of changed the landscape as far as the employee-employer relationships, in at least in America. Um, where you have a lot of industries that aren't unionized and there are no protections for workers and a lot of this shit goes on uh, unnoticed and unsaid and unreported or whatever or ignored, reported and then ignored, whatever. And um, we might be just seeing an entirely new shift, um, at least with this being the, the catalyst in the video game development industry um, this may be the catalyst to to change a lot with all the big name developers, you know, um, and it's probably been needed for a long time. So what we can hope is that maybe these indie developers that um, have been putting out really good games. Um, I mean, I, I always say, you know, I've got over 600 games on my Steam account. A lot of those are indie titles, and and Granted, I haven't played a lot of them. I buy them when they're really cheap on sale or whatever, and I need to get to them, and of course I don't have time. I'm getting ready to retire, so that could change. Um, And uh, perhaps, maybe, a lot of other people are going to just start saying, hey, let's, let's just give these indie people a shot, and forget about the Activision Blizzards and Bethesdas and all this, you know, uh, Ubisoft and, you know, the names go on and on, you know. Um, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the tipping point, you know, to where finally shit's going to get done. And maybe some of the big the big developers and big names aren't going to survive it. Okay, I'm all right with that. If Activision Blizzard crash and burns and they literally disappear, I'm okay with that at this point. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. There are tons of other games and other developers to indie developers to support and everything. There's there's plenty of out there, of content out there for all of us. So you know, going back to Hazel, uh, and I'm gonna put a link down below just in case you don't remember her name or what. I'll put a link to her channel. Um, and uh, I hope that's I hope that's what happens out of this. I hope that those that that committed it any of the bullshit that has been alleged and it it's, turns out to be true or whatever, they get, they get whether it's prosecuted or, uh, you know, through um, uh, counseling, whatever it is that, that needs to be take place um, to the full extent of the law, of employee relations, whether it's fight, termination and, and, you know, whatever, termination plus you know, getting 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 charged in, in criminal court if it's a criminal offense, um, and then if there's civil uh, shit that's going to come out of this, which there this obviously, I mean, the state is already suing them. You know, but I'm saying if any of the individual people harmed decide to sue, well, I hope they get whatever they have coming. You know, and um, I'm just I'm just done with you know all these. Big name corporations. I mean, look at me personally. I, my history is I was in the corporate world for years. Um, I was in the corporate security world, and um, I saw, I saw buyouts and mergers, and and all this. And people, literally, people were just numbers. 
everybody was everybody was just disregarded when it came to the the big corporate machine. And I tell everybody, you know, that you know, I moved up here to, to Utah and I'm a pool guy now. And I'm getting ready to retire from that. And that's it. I'm not working for anybody ever again. I'm going to work for myself. Whatever it is, I'm going to work for myself. And everybody says, you know, well, you've got a big background. You've got, a, you know, all this corporate security experience. You go, what are you doing here? Why are you? And I tell them that I always say the same thing. I say, ambition was snuffed out of me by corporate America years ago. And that is a fact. I used to have ambition. When I was younger, I had ambitions to do, you know, I'm going to do this and do that. And I'm going to climb up there. And, and then I saw what the corporate fucking structure was. And how they treated people, and how, I, and 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 I knew I couldn't, I couldn't succeed in that because it would have meant that I would have had to become one of those people that treated people like numbers and not as people, and I I couldn't do that. And I was expected. Trust me, the higher ups. You know, I was the the lowest level of executive at at Pinkerton Security, and I had a regional vice president above me and. There were expectations of me to do certain things that I didn't agree with, you know, and I had a certain amount of autonomy in my job, and I chose to buck the system, and it, it screwed up my bonus system, you know, my bonus, personal bonus salary and all that stuff because I chose to do these things for my employees at my branch, um, but I still chose to do them, even though it, it hurt me personally and everything else, I'm the rare per the rare you know, type of entity that says, I'm not going to screw over my people just so I get a fatter bonus. Very few people are willing to do that. And I'm not, you know, I am, I guess I am judging because I couldn't bring myself to do that, to say I'm not giving Christmas bonuses because we didn't hit, you know, we didn't hit a certain level of profit. Um, I'm not giving Christmas bonuses because corporate says I can't. I did it anyway. I gave Christmas bonuses anyway. And because of that, that affected my my bonus as I was in the bonus system, whereas they were not. It was based upon if you hit certain levels, then you can give your people Christmas bonuses, etc., like that. I was in the bonus program where I was always guaranteed a bonus. It was just how much based upon profit and all these other things. And the fact I took it directly out of my bonus to give them Christmas bonuses and so forth. Yeah, that was a black eye that I got um, from corporate. That's and basically at that point I knew there's no way they will ever promote me because I will not tow that line. That's a that's a long tangent there, um, but as it as it pertains to what we're talking about with these big corporations, whether it's gaming or whatever, you've got all the malfeasance that goes on with everything that was outlined in the Activision Blizzard thing and everything, but. You've got all those other, like I was just talking about with the bonuses and all these other things. All that kind of shit goes on all the time at all corporate, big corporations. Small mom and pop, medium-sized companies that might take care of their employees, that's a different story. But most corporations are not looking out for their employees. And perhaps in the video game industry, things are about to change or, or they're going to crash and burn and they won't be around anymore. It's possible they won't be around anymore, which is fine. So, um, anyway, that's a very long, um, way of saying, yeah, I agree with what Hazel said. If you want to go watch her video about it and those are my thoughts about it, let me know what you guys think. Um, I have a couple of subscribers here on YouTube that have voiced things to me on other platforms. So I know their feelings, but if you want to, you, you know who you are, if you want to comment down here, that would be fine as well. I look forward to it. So, <sighs> thanks, guys. Catch you on the flip side. Cheers.